So this is a really good question. So what I want you to have a go at doing is trying to see if you can work out the quantum numbers for each of the electrons in the carbon atom. So looking at carbon on your periodic table, we know that carbon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So we've got two, four, six electrons. So our first electron is in the 1s orbital and our second one is in the 1s orbital. Okay, so the 1s orbital, so to describe our 1s orbital, how would I do that? So we've got our n value. So our n, so let's do here, we've got our n, and then we've got our l, and then we've got our ml, and our ms. Okay. So the n value, so it's in the first energy level. Okay. What orbital is it? It is an s orbital, so it's a zero. The ml is minus l to zero to plus l, so for this case it would be zero again. And our ms would be plus a half for one of them and minus a half for the other. So it doesn't matter if you have the plus or half or the minus of half on the top, as long as the other one has the opposite one. So going for our third and fourth, we're now in our 2s, 2s, so it's going to be the same, but we're going to have a 2 here because we're in our second energy level. Still got s orbitals, and we've got a plus a half. and a minus a half, so again, doesn't matter which order you put them in. Now with our last two, we've got a 2p, and we've got a 2p here. So it's in our second energy level. It's a p orbital, so it's the one. The mls would need to be different. So the a minus one, and then my next one, zero and then the plus one is empty. So remember when you're filling your orbitals, you put one arrow up, one arrow up, one arrow up, and then you do one arrow down, one arrow down, one arrow down. So the spins are the same. So if we've got one in each of those orbitals, they will be the same. So it doesn't matter again if you choose plus or half or minus a half, as long as you have the same spin on those two. So that is how you would fill out your quantum numbers um, for the carbon atom.